Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And so God is very wise to command us to have a time during our week, here at the very beginning of each week, to feast upon the word of God. And I take very seriously the responsibility to to shepherd the flock. And what a shepherd has to do is he has to make sure that the sheep are getting fed. Remember what the Lord Jesus Christ told to Peter after, after he met him there in Galilee following his resurrection. He asked him, Simon, do you love me? And he asked him three times, do you love me? And each time when Peter replied, yes, Lord, you know that I love you, he said, feed my lambs. And here we are, the, the flock of God, and I'm a lamb as well, and we need to be fed spiritual food. And when we get used to that diet of spiritual food, then we can't accept any substitutes. Religion just doesn't do it for the soul that has that hunger and thirst for the Word of God. And so may God continue to give us that hunger and that thirst for His Word as we extend the invitation to more and more Uh, hungry lambs out there to come and feast upon the Word of God. Romans chapter 15. I'd like to read the text for us here, and then we'll just spend some time talking about and enjoying a lot of precious truth that is here in this part of God's Word. Now, before I read it, let me say one other thing. The Word of God in the New Testament is largely given to us in the form of letters. In the Old Testament, you've got Psalms and Proverbs, you've got the law, you've got all kinds of history, and then the words of the prophets. But in the New Testament, we have something unique that we didn't have in the Old Testament, and that are that is personal letters from the apostles, and even personal letters from the Lord Jesus Christ in Revelation chapters 2 and 3, to the church.